Hello everyone, this is Nikita and thank you for joining me in this video. In this video, we would create a queue processor from the scratch and see how we can run them and how can we observe and trace them in a admin studio. So this is the motto of this particular video. So let's just get started. So first let's uh, understand what is my scenario. My scenario is I have a data type called candidate and there are some instances on this data type. I want to uh, run a job scheduler which runs daily at some off business hour and, uh, and changes the interview status for the instances where the status is pending. So it complete it changes the status to completed. So this is my scenario. For this, I will first create a job scheduler. This job scheduler will run every day in the off business hour and it will queue the items present in this candidate data type to a queue processor and then the queue processor would immediately run and convert the status from pending to completed. So this is my scenario. So let's just get started by creating a job scheduler first. So I'll go to records, this admin and then job scheduler. I'll create a job scheduler with the name as queue candidate items. Okay, so let's do create an open and uh, what are the things that you need to configure? It should be enabled. Make sure this is enabled. Uh, node type would be background processing, associated node, any one associated node. I want to run it daily, every one day uh, at some predefined time. Uh, I'll give the time zone as Asia Calcutta and time as to Okay, so I'll give the time as 2.17 p.m. Okay, uh, so what is the context? I'll give it as system run type context. Now the class, uh, the class is the candidate class. Okay, now the activity, the activity which I will create, I'll name it as Q candidate items. Okay, I'll create the activity. Okay, create an open. Uh, what will I do in this particular activity? First of all, let me uh, create a new page called candidate. Okay, and in this page, uh, we will actually use a OBJ browse to fetch all the record from the candidate case type. So for that, I will need to have a PX results page. So I'll use the candidate page and inside this the px result out of the box uh, page list would be used in obj browse so what i need to do is i need to uh, make this particular page as code pegalist class and within this i will have another page called candidate.px results and the class for this particular page would be the candidate class okay i'll i'll take this class I'll use it here okay so now uh, the class name is the same what is the maximum record I expect 500 uh, row key PZ and ski no it's not required because this is a data class and uh, I don't have any blob in this so uh, so there won't be any PZ and ski as a row key. So we will remove the PZ and ski here. Uh, what is the logic? Logic would be whenever you see the status as equal to pending, I want to change it to completed. Okay. So this is the condition. Now what would be the next step? So now we will already have the page list, uh, you know, coming from the OBJ browse. So I will use that page here, okay, because I will need to loop this particular page list, px uh, results, okay. So candidate.px results. I want to loop it for each embedded page, okay. What is the next step? Uh, I need to create an child step now the next step would be to have a new page 
called to resolve and this particular page I need to give it here as well um, okay so in this particular page what we are going to do is first of all we need to set the uh, key through which we can open this particular uh, instance so first of all let's understand what is the key for this class the key is pygoid okay it's not pzins key or it's not something else it's pygoid so this is the key through which you can open this particular instance so param dot goid uh, so we will save the py guid in the parameter okay uh, next step would be to open the instance and then queue the item so i'll open the instance uh, i will put the class it is the class this is the class okay i don't need to lock or release on commit that uh, we will do in the queue processor activity now i will just use the obj open and open that particular instance here okay through this now uh, we have opened this uh, instance also now the next step would be to queue the item so for that the next step is queue for processing method okay so use this and the page i would set it here okay this is done what else uh, in this queue for processing method i need to specify my queue processor okay so, so this is the queue processor i just created okay so this is the queue processor so let me use this here i need to queue it immediately and that's it okay next step is to remove the pages that we have created so i will do the page remove so uh, whenever you create any pages you need to make sure that you are remo removing it otherwise it just stays in the memory and it has an impact in the performance so it's always advisable to remove the page when you when you are done with your work in the end of the activity okay so my activity for queuing the item is done so now i need to uh, let me save the job scheduler okay now the next step is to have the queue processor so the queue processor i already have created let me open so this is my queue processor i have enabled this the background processing node type i need to process it immediate processing activity is resolve candidate which i will create now okay so i'll create the resolve candidate and what this is going to do so the item has been queued so the next step is I need to open that item and then uh, set the status as completed and committed. That's it. So I'll do a page new or resolve page. Okay. Put the class here. Now uh, I need to do and I, I need to open the case first let me open this okay open class would be the candidate class I want to lock it I want to release on commit and then the next step is I need to put the key so my key was pygoid okay this primary dot pygoid so the page where the id is present is the primary page 
that's the Q page. Okay, so I'll open it here. Now I need to do a property set. In this property set, what I will do is I will set the interview status to completed. Okay. OBJ save. okay so my activity is ready let me go to the job scheduler activity once again okay so i think uh, we are done with the configuration for job scheduler and queue processor the next step would be to uh, go to the admin studio and check so let me go to the admin studio okay so first let me go to the job scheduler So my job scheduler is Q candidate item. Let me see if I have checked in all the rules. So I have not checked in this. Let me see the job scheduler. Yes, this is checked in. So for demo purpose, let's just set the schedule as multiple times a day and after every two minutes and I'll check in this. Okay, now I'll go to the job scheduler. This is my job scheduler queue candidate item. I'll trace this. So it should run now after every two minutes. So it should run now. So in this particular tracer, I should see whether my item is getting queued or not or if I see any error. So you can see some error is coming here. Let me try to find what is that. Okay, I think I gave PYGUID is going as blank. So let me try to find why it is happening. So in this particular activity, I have opened it through param.guid. Okay okay so there is the problem i did not uh, i did not bring in the pygid in obj browse otherwise uh, this will not work so pygid should be present in that page yes now it should work let's go to the admin studio once again let's trace this again I can also put in my queue processor tracing on. This is the one trace. Okay. So I think we have traced this. Queue processor should also have run. Let's check. Okay, so the item have been queued. So let's go to the Dev Studio and check the data type. Okay, as you can see, the interview status has been uh, changed to completed. It was pending before. Let's go to the instance. So you can see the updated time has also changed. So it's 3.18 now. Okay, so now uh, in this particular video, we actually created a job scheduler to queue the item and then created a queue processor to change the status of that particular instance. I hope this was useful to you. So we would come again with the next video very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till then, bye-bye.